Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. And today I wanted to show you how to install Raspbian on your Raspberry Pi 1, your Raspberry Pi 2, or your Raspberry Pi 0. This is the easiest way to install. You don't need any extra tools except for your internet browser and your SD card and SD card reader. So first up, let's go ahead and get started. You want to go ahead and open up your browser, whatever browser you'd like to use, and head on over to www.raspberrypi.org. Now up here at the top, we're going to go to Downloads. And we're going to go to Noobs. We want to go ahead and download Noobs. Now you can download the torrent or you can download the zip depending on if you feel safe using torrents or you can download it directly in your browser by the zip. So I have already downloaded it and I have placed it in a folder on my desktop and named it Raspberry Pi. Now this is Noobs version 1.5.0. It's one gig. You want to go ahead and unzip it or extract it. So we're going to just extract it to the same folder here. Alright, so let's go ahead and open up this folder. And you should have all of these files and folders inside of the unzipped noobs that you just unzipped. Or the noobs that you just extracted. You want to find where your SD card is. Now I have named mine SD card and it's labeled as my E drive. So I'm going to go ahead and copy everything inside of the folder that we just extracted. And I'm going to go ahead and paste it into my clean 8 gigabyte SanDisk SD card. Now that we have all of the files copied, let's just go ahead and make sure we'll go to our file explorer, SD card, and all of the files that you extracted, extracted from the noobs zip file that you downloaded from raspberrypi.org are on the SD card. So we're going to go ahead and switch over to the Raspberry Pi. We just want to go ahead and pull our SD card from the computer, place it into the Raspberry Pi, and power it on. Okay, now that we've taken the SD card from the computer and placed it into the Raspberry Pi, we've powered up the Raspberry Pi. And you need to be connected to the internet. Now I am connected with Ethernet. If you are connected with Wi-Fi, you can go ahead and set up your Wi-Fi networks through this option up at the top here. As you can see here, we have a lot of options to choose from to install different operating systems onto our Raspberry Pi. Uh, I want to install Raspbian. So I'm going to go ahead and check Raspbian. It's going to need 3.5 gigabytes. And I have six available on my eight gigabyte SD card. So let's go ahead and install. All we need to do to install is click install here. This will install the selected operating system. All existing data on the SD card will be overwritten. This will overwrite any other OS's that are on here right now. It will not overwrite the noobs install installation screen like you see here so let's go ahead and hit yes and it's going to go ahead and download and install and we just have to click one more button when it's done installing and we're ready to boot up raspbian i'm going to go ahead and fast forward this
Now that the install was successful, we're going to go ahead and hit OK or Enter and boot into Raspbian on your Raspberry Pi. So it's finished and booted to the Raspbian desktop. There's one last thing you want to do before you can start using this. You can use it like this, but I definitely suggest extending the file system. Oh, I did not want to do that. Go ahead and close the browser down. So when we go to our file manager here, you can see we have 2.4 gigabytes free. Okay, so you... Now we're booted to the desktop and you're ready to use Raspbian. There's tons of stuff um, already pre-installed and you can also install a bunch of other applications. I will link the Tutorial to install Kodi, a XBMC media player. Um, so we got a lot of programming languages that you can learn. You can make games with Scratch. We have all the basic um, office suits that you'd need. We got math, writing, um, drawing. We can do uh, play Minecraft. There's other Python that you can install. Uh, we have calculators. I mean, pretty much everything that a modern operating system has. Quick tip, if you would like to overclock your Raspbian um, operating system, this will overclock the CPU of the Raspberry Pi 1, the Raspberry Pi 2, or the Raspberry Pi 0. So just go to Menu, Accessories, Terminal, and in the terminal prompt here, we want to go ahead and type in sudo raspi config and press enter. Now this will bring us to the Raspberry Pi software configuration tool. We want to scroll down to lock. And I am on the Pi 2, so I want to go to 1 gigahertz. We will go to 1 gigahertz. And then I would like to do a memory split to add more RAM to my GPU. So we'll go to Advanced Options, scroll down here to Memory Split. And I want to change this to, let's just say 300. Oh my lord. 300 megabytes. Go ahead and hit enter. Go down to finish. And you can go ahead and reboot and your overclock and memory split will be set up. Well, that's pretty much it for the install of Raspbian on your Raspberry Pi, your Raspberry Pi 2, or your Raspberry Pi 0. If you have any questions, leave a comment or send me a private message. And if you could help me out, if you like this video or if it helped you out at all, um, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe. And thanks for watching.